I guess to describe myself in a nutshell, I'm a, first and foremost a poker player. Uh, I'm also a TV presenter. Uh, I love to play heavy metal guitar. I'm a nature lover and I'm a former physicist. I studied uh, physics with astrophysics at the University of Manchester. Wow, she played that like a girl. That's how you play pocket <laughs> jacks, Lon. Got paid like a girl. <laughs> I started playing poker about seven years ago um, and probably took it a little bit more seriously from 2009 onwards and uh, in 2010 I had my really big breakthrough. I uh, won the European Poker Tour in San Remo for 1.25 million euros. So it was a rather rather nice start to the year. Um, some of my other titles, I was European Ladies Champion in 2008. Um, I've won some online tournaments and so on. And the beauty of doing physics as a degree is that it doesn't mean you have to become a physicist. You don't have to become a research scientist. And yet the training that, that I got from physics, the way it's trained my mind to think, has enabled me to go into such an analytical game as poker. Um, it's, it's incredibly useful. People always ask me, oh, you know, you did this amazing degree. Why are you wasting it playing poker? And I, my answer is, I'm, how dare you? I'm not wasting my, my degree in the slightest. It's, it, it's what enables me to be a fantastic poker player. You know, poker's a game about making incredibly complex decisions in a short period of time under a lot of pressure with so many variables and bits of information that you have to filter through to make the correct decision. Well, that's what physics is all about and that help, helps me now when I'm you know, playing on the tables for millions of dollars. So many really successful poker players actually have a background in physics. One of my best friends, who's one of the most successful poker players of all time, he has a PhD in physics from Stanford. But I did a, a core physics degree you know, with the, the, the usual sub subjects, quantum, particle. Any option courses I did were always the astro ones, for example, cosmology, stellar physics and so on. I actually loved all the different, different facets of physics. Um, and I was very lucky in my third year, I got to go to Jodrell Bank and uh, work with the seven meter radio telescope, uh, measuring the, uh, the hydrogen lines from the 21 centimeter hydrogen line, um, which enabled us to uh, plot the rotational curve of the Milky Way um, and as such determine the mass of it, essentially weighing our galaxy, which was mind blowing, um, and even prove the existence of dark matter which was I don't know it was so cool for a third year student to be able to do that and actually you know see you know produce these results and see you know see it calculate it yourself a huge feeling of achievement which I really enjoyed girls might be in minority but I've always really enjoyed being in minority in, in whatever subject I'm doing um, you know I'm a minority in poker I've been a minority in physics um, I've been a minority in playing heavy metal guitar um, but all of those things actually work in your favor girls you know being you'll sort of stick out more and uh, it's it often can give you a little leg up in an industry whatever it may be you know I, I certainly wouldn't have got the attention that I've gotten in poker had I not been female um, and there's absolutely no reason why us girls can't kick ass at whatever subject we choose to do and it would make me so happy to see more girls studying physics discovering you know winning Nobel Prizes being you know being the next Einstein there's no reason why the next Einstein cannot be female the river it's a, it's a blank. Lippery has done it. Jakob Carlsen's the runner-up. Lippery is the champion of EPT San Remo.